A typical day for the Sun Devil equipment staff begins before sunrise. Cronkite News reporter Brady King shows us the day-to-day -day grind they go through for the team. Mondays are off days for ASU football players, but not for Jerry Neely and his equipment staff. So what does an equipment staff do? Well, the proper question is, what don't they do? No one really knows what we do, but it, it's so encompassing. And you know, not only do we do all the laundry and get all that stuff ready and turn from practice, but we're also in charge of maintaining the helmets and shoulder pads and issuing uniforms, sizing the uniforms, all the cloth and gear that the athletes and coaches receive. On top of taking care of all the swag, the 15 student equipment managers are expected to execute during practice. <laughs> They help out, set up the field, help with the coaches with their position drills, help spot the ball. After the morning practice, it's back to packing and preparing players for game day. They can come, come to the stadium on game day completely naked and not have to worry about it. By the time lunch rolls around on Thursdays, the equipment staff will have this entire 52-foot-long semi-truck completely filled with anything, and I mean literally anything, that the players or coaching staff might need for the upcoming road trip. It's a constant anxiety every night. You know, we have all of these checklists and we check things out a thousand times. So have they ever forgotten something? Can I plead the fifth on that one? <laughs> we've had some instances where we've forgotten some things. But the way I like to say it is, if no one else knows, then it doesn't really matter. The stress the staff goes through seven days a week doesn't go unnoticed by ASU players and coaches. I think Jerry gets here like 4.30, 5 o'clock, and he's here till 5 o'clock at the end of the night. Even Saturday after the game, they were still here till 2, 3 in the morning. I was taught early in college that the most important guy in the building is the equipment guy. And you don't realize that really as a player until you get older. Seamstress, stylist, laundromat, and friend. Wearing all these hats, or helmets if you will, has its perks. For Neely, it's mentoring his student managers and being a part of a Division I football team with a family-first mentality. We work with a staff that is very, very, very family-oriented. When my wife travels, uh, my daughter comes up to the facility and can hang out in the office and draw me great pictures that I can hang on my walls. Um, and it's without missing a beat. No one cares. You know, she's welcomed. Now, back to that question of what an equipment manager does, the answer is simple. They, they do everything, pretty much. That's the easiest way to put it. In Tempe, Brady King, Cronkite News.